Hello Virgo, welcome to Serona Tarot. This is your monthly forecast for September 2020. I'm just cleansing your space at the moment. Okay, please do remember that these uh, messages are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If it doesn't resonate with you, then thank you for watching and I uh, hope you find a reader that does work with you. If it does, it means that there's something in tune with us, so uh, please like, subscribe and share so that more people can be guided by uh, messages of healing, which is always my intention, love, foresight and guidance moving forward. A couple of things to remember before we do the 22nd uh, sound bowl to tune in with my energy. On the 17th of September, we have a new moon in Virgo, and that's all about cleaning up house, okay? All about organizing things and getting your affairs in, into order. And of course, it is in your sign as well, so it's going to be quite prominent. You're going to feel quite uh, strong and um, motivated to do so. And then on the 2nd of September, so the full moon comes before the new moon. So the full moon is on the 2nd of September in Pisces. And this is things reaching a bit of a climax to do with um, your sensitivity and your perceptions of your surroundings. So it could make you feel quite insecure. But um, at the same time, there is an element of um, there's quite a lot of imagination happening. So if you're creatively inspired it's a good time for you to really kind of let those energies burst out so before we begin we're going to do about 20 seconds just to tune in with my energy so you can fast forward if you don't want to do this okay Okay, Virgo, right, let's see what September is bringing forward for you. We'll start off with Sacred Destiny to see the overall energy for the month of September for you. What is the overall energy needs for the Virgo for their higher sacred? Most helpful for Virgo, please, for number September 2020. It's too many. Just one card, please. Take that one. Illumination. Wow, okay. So, illumination talks about things being brought to the surface, things where they have been hidden and quite misty in um, the past, where things haven't been that clear to you. Illumination is going to be coming in specifically for you in uh, September, where things are going to become a bit clearer, a bit brighter. You're going to see things for what they truly are. And this could come in quite strongly for you around the beginning of the month, especially with that Pisces full moon. Okay, so any areas in your life where you feel that you have been stuck or confused, that is being brought to light. Let's see what Moonology has for you. General feeling. General overview. What would be most helpful for Virgo first for September 2020? Just one card for you. Or two. Virgo for the highest good, for the collective, please. A slightly different setup, so it's a bit unusual for me to be uh, shuffling the cards quite far away from my body, so I just need to get used to it too. We take this. Okay. First one is what do you need to release when moon? 
okay? So with the illumination coming in, where something is being brought to your attention, into, your, into the forefront, it might be a situation where you need to release something that's no longer serving you. And that is also coming in time with the 17th. So between the first week and the third week of September, when you're feeling like you need to really clean up and organize things. And when you declutter areas in your life, whether it's relationships, materials, moving house, that sort of thing, it brings it's quite clear what to release, what is being stagnant in your life, what has been holding you back. And then we have nothing will come of this situation. So they tie in really, really well. So at the moment, what I'm getting, I'm getting goosebumps as well as I'm talking, um, which for me, goosebumps is a confirmation that I'm on the right track with the, um, with the reading. Something is going to be illuminated to you in the month of um, September, okay? Something that has been holding you back. You come into an understanding of um, a recognition, a self-realization that an energy or perhaps certain attachments that have been keeping you stagnant and stuck is no longer serving you, okay? so. Because nothing will, is, is going to be resolved from this, you sort of come to that real understanding. It's not like a stalemate situation, but it's like, ah, I get it now. And it enables you to really recognize that there might be an element of releasing that you might need to take. Now, it could be um, quite emotional uh, for you. So um, we did that way rather, so you can see. Releasing, releasing things in your life that you've held with you can be fairly emotional because we hold on to situations, we hold on to experiences, we hold on to people um, that have been in our environment. So we have that attachment, we have, it's familiar. And when something's familiar, it feels like home. And so to release something that has felt like home in the past um, that could cause you this really emotive, um, kind of highly sensitive, highly strong um, triggers in you, okay? But you, with the illumination coming in, it needs to be dealt with, it needs to be addressed, it needs to be seen. Um, let us get a, um, a Work Your Light Oracle card just to give a bit more of a sense of where we're going before we go into the tarot. What will be most beneficial for Virgo for September 2020 for the highest good days? Some guidance, foresight and advice yes, for Virgo. Inner temple. Devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. So this really talks about um, obviously activating the heart chakra over there, but really seeing your inner being, not just your temple as the body temple, because most people think of it, oh, okay, body temple, I need to be being careful about um, my what nutrition I put into my body, what sort of activity and exercise I do, if I meditate, all that sort of stuff, um, how it affects the physical body. You need to go deeper into that. You need to be deep, um, delving really, really deep into your heart space, tuning into your heart space. And this begins, it can only ever begin with self-love. It can only ever be begin with devotion to opening up your heart. Because if you spend your time people-pleasing, if you spend your time in Virgo, you're a very nurturing, nurturing, loving soul. But oftentimes the problem can arise when you've been overgiving. You've been spreading yourself too thinly by helping and nurturing others. And you need to turn that energy inwards into your heart space and start to really heal your own heart and open your own heart to your own divinity. Okay, and by doing that, that is going to enable you to really for the illumination to come in much faster, much stronger, so that you can cut the cords of 
the areas in your life that are really dragging you down okay and it allows you to be when you once you tune into the portal of your heart there's no denying it and once you're able to see it for what it is it enables you to um be true to yourself okay because no one can do that for you um so a slightly different setup from last month i've got the good tarot um tarot deck here by colin barrett reed but i've taken out all the major arcanas we're going to be um, using the majors as an anchoring and then we'll clarify with a fountain and a gold tarot okay so we'll get three cards the general overview for september Please get three cards for Virgo for September 2020 for the highest good, love, healing, support, foresight, guidance, advice. Oh, hello. Hmm. We have fortune's wheel. Right. So there is a twist of fate. This is uh, where synchronicity meets destiny in your life. OK, so whereby things have been working, feeling perhaps like they've been working against you. Fortune's wheel is divinely guided and it comes in to really give you the recognition of um, um, where things are changing. As soon as you're able to make that shift, Fortune's wheel comes in and stirs it up even more. Can we get another two, please, for Virgo? We'll clarify, of course, and get a bit more information, go deeper. Oh, too many. Two more cards, please, for Virgo. Thank you. Temptation. Mm. So these are the attachments I was talking about. Remember I was talking, I picked up on the sense of attachments, attachments that you're needing to release, okay? So attachments can come in the form of relationships and can come in the form of um, material um, financial constraints. Um, these are attachments that may not necessarily need to be there. There might be a bit of a, it's like, um, what am I saying? There's a, say for example, it was a relationship and usually there should be equal give and take, right? Equal give and take, loving, free energy with no expectations. Temptation will come in whereby there is an element of expectation in the relationship. So what happens is the give and take is no longer free. It is either expected um, and if it's not received or given when expected, that's when it becomes unhealthy and that's when it becomes an attachment because the free will and the free love that that goes in that energy has been um, bounded. It's been chained down into a, into a particular routine, which is kind of causing you to feel a bit sort of stuck and stagnant. Um, right, let's get another one, please, Virgo. Hello, thank you. And the chariot, that we have victory here. Okay, this is fast movement forward. The chariot um, is uh, is that courageous energy. It could also be physical movement as well, physical move, because this often refers to vehicles or um, an actual journey of sorts. But ultimately, it's about victory. It's about harnessing the shadow side of yourself, harnessing the light, and then thrusting forward, taming both sides in fast action moving forward. So these are really, really promising and especially with the under these it makes a lot of sense because we've got this illumination brings a, um, a change in your fortune coming positively aspected this attachment is under the moonology here which are those things that you need to release because nothing is going to come with that situation the longer you hold on to it and it's in the temple this devotion to your inner space and your inner being it's going to allow you, once you open that, to thrust forward with the victory and triumph. Right, let us use, we're going to use the Fountain Tarot to clarify some of these cards for you and see what comes up. 
Now remember, I have to be fairly general in my reading because it is a general reading. I can't be too specific, which is why I'm keeping it more simple. And of course, my intention always is um, for spiritual advice and guidance. So you take it as it resonates. Get a couple of cards for fortune's wheel. Why is fortune's wheel here, yeah, please? Why is fortune's wheel here, yeah, please? Thank you. Okay, so the first card out was a chariot. Interesting because we've got the chariot over here. Okay, so this. Fortune's wheel is going to come with great speed. And then we've got the Page of Cups. So around about, so obviously these energies can integrate and interlink with each other throughout the month of September. But usually there's a story that, that, that emerges. And the story I'm seeing emerge here for you at Virgo is that there's a twist of fate happening for you, okay? Which is highlighting a forward motion, positive, you're on your path to your prosperity, but then it also illuminates the attachments that you need to release. And once you're able to release that, you can thrust forward. So the fortune's wheel comes with some good news coming in. So we've got the page of cups over here, and the page of cups talks about um, a message coming in, a message from the heart, okay? So this could be someone who is um, offering their cup to you, offering an apology, um, ex telling you that they um, they love you, uh, they are uh, sorry, they appreciate you, all these sorts of things. And it's coming in really, really fast and unexpected, okay? This is going to give you a lot of um, rejuvenation and um, excitement and it's going to really lift your spirit. It's going to make you feel all warm and fuzzy. Now, if it's not a page of cups, because of course this is a general reading and there are multiple meanings with regards to this, it's definitely something that's coming in with absolute love, okay? So if it is something that's changing your situation, it's coming from spirit with absolute love. Now, pages are, tend to be message, uh, messengers, okay, that are bringing messenger, um, messages to you that are filled with emotion and filled with love in the heart space, okay? Um, but it could also be that if there's a wheel of fortune, because I'm picking up this other energy here, which if, if there's a wheel of fortune change to do with your um, your career environment and your um, that sort of um, where you're focused on your career and that seems to be more the, um, the your focus at the moment, then the page of cups could be that you're driving forward, this news comes in fortune's wheel, changes everything and enables you to thrust forward. And the page talks about that novice, that new starter, that new beginning. Um, really um, wanting to make a change, but being at the start of a new sort of beginning. But for most, I'm really feeling that um, message of love coming through um, to support you, uh, to enable you to to move forward. And because chariot cards here, I feel more often than not, it is some sort of apology, which changes the game for you, okay? We will go a little bit deeper in that in a moment. Let's just go to temptation. Why is temptation here, please? Thank you. High Priestess. Okay. So, there is an element of the temptation. These attachments that you have, you are actually not fully aware of it. That's where the illumination comes in. So, the, the High Priestess talks about... Uh, mysteries and talks about secrets. It also talks about being intuitively in tune with your higher being, your inner self, right? So these attachments that are going to be um, being illuminated to you um, with what you need to, um, you start to see it from a distance and knowing that mm, this is not serving me, this is not serving me, this is not serving me, I need to release that. That's going to come to you in dreams, it's going to come to you intuitively, 
and also might be um, it's more often than not it's going to be a situation whereby you had no idea it was almost like it was completely hidden from you okay uh, let's get something oh, yeah we'll take you four of wands ah oh, lovely okay so um, this is talking about um, <laughs> it's almost like you've been in this um, not delusion because it's not the the moon card here but it's almost like you have not really been aware of the attachments you've had in your stable living environment okay and that's what's being illuminated for you that's what's being brought to the surface so you can really see oh my goodness I'm attached to things I am attached to stability I am attached to feeling a structure around me and being in a so-called happy home I am attached to this but is it actually real or am I holding on to something that isn't real or am I pretending like it's all okay but it really isn't okay that's what's come like coming up quite strong and here this coming up to the surface will enable you to see it for what it is really identify it stop looking at the past through sort of rose tinted glasses and look at the here and now right now and that it's going to enable you to make a swift shift okay towards um, actually what what is it that makes you feel stable within yourself now there's a lot going on with astrology at the moment there's a lot obviously going on with the with the world there's this is a pivotal world um a pivotal year 2020 and so all those everything that we knew as stable and secure and structured in our lives went crumbling to pieces for the most part for most people it would have affected you in some way whereby something that you rely on crumbles and you need to you know re-look at the situation go back to the drawing board okay I have what what I'm feeling coming through more strongly for you Virgo is that um, this element this four of wands which rep represents um, it could even the holidays as well this four of wands which, which represents that security that stability that solid foundation with the four there that happy home environment all that sort of stuff the shift is coming for you from the exterior back into the interior world with this card over here tuning into your heart's portal. So no longer these attachments which you have been um, relying on in the outside world, those are going to come to the forefront uh, with the illumination. And the high priestess is going to show you that that's just, that's immaterial. That no longer matters, okay? If you can look look. Um, uh, look inside your inner portal, your heart space, and trust that that is going to give you that four of wands, okay? That security, that solid, grounded, mm, earth, I've got this vibe, can only come from within. It can't happen in the outside world. You know, you could be um, completely poor, but you've got this um, internal groundedness and stability and confidence with yourself that makes you feel like the richest person you could um be in a relationship whereby you're like mm, you know it's stable everything's hunky-dory whatever but there's no growth there's no expansion there's no movement and development in that relationship it's become quite stagnant and so you go inside you look deep within tune into the portal of your heart and if there's something that needs to be um, move from in order to for your own expansion and also just shifting that energy so that you're no longer seeing a relationship with with regards to um, having that attachment and I say attachments by the way of expectations okay love love is free um, love is free will you cannot um, doesn't matter how long you've been with somebody how many children you have all of that sort of stuff there must still be that mutual respect of give and take give and take give and take that happens freely the minute there becomes a tit for tat situation or the minute there are expectations of well you know you've always done this and now you haven't done this um, that's when the um, energy has turned from that loving openness 
to more of a stagnation, more of a bounded chains vibe. Um, so it's it, it's about really kind of tuning in with firstly within yourself, uh, in your internal world, um, because whatever you do in your internal world, it will affect your exterior world, but perhaps you have been doing it the other way around. So this is where the illumination comes in. Um, anything more for the chat? Anything for the chariot, please? Anything for the chariot for Virgo for the highest good? What are they racing towards with victory? The month of oh beautiful we got the star okay so this is a major arcana just like the chariot and the high priestess as well the star speaks about having trust having faith um and deep inner healing okay and that's what you are this is also the things that you wish for the things that you hope and it's saying to you with the chariot if you delve into the portal of your heart, open up, release these, you are going to be rushing forward with great speed and moment, momentum into your wishes, into those that which you hope. And part of that might come an element of healing, inner healing, and being stripped of all your, a star is, a, I think she is naked here yeah so the, um, the star card is usually uh, in tarot depicted as a naked woman amongst water with a bowl of water and it's all about cleansing it's all about purification okay and she's naked because she's now open she's made herself vulnerable and she's saying this is she's like calling up to the star this is what i believe in this is what i want this is what i hope for i want to be able to heal areas of my life that are no longer serve me so i can thrust forward towards my prosperity path okay and in order to do that you need to be stripped of all those exterior attachments <clears throat> you need to be you as you when we die we can't take any of the stuff with us we can't even take the relationships with us you know uh we take the memories everything is actually within when we're born we're born butt naked right so you really are stripping away in september you're stripping away all those external attachments that are have been keeping you um chained and bound okay Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, my God. And then we've got the sun. So the sun is shining for you. This is about abundance. Again, victory with, with the chariot and the sun over there. It talks about victory, abundance. Um, this is good health. This is money coming in. This is prosperity. With the star and the sun, I mean, you've got both huge um, astrological placements that are really shining their light okay the, the star is guiding that way and the star um, the guidance that comes up is then lit up by the sun and the sun is all about illumination which is over here okay so things are really going to start becoming very very clear to you in the month of September you're going to be ending yeah you're going to be ending the month of September a completely different person um, you're going to be a bit more solid, a bit more confident, not a bit more confident, a lot more confident because things are working in your favor and you are being pushed and, and um, um, sort of uh, this good news that's coming in, this messenger that's coming in. Um, it's like, it's not like it saves the day. I don't know why I heard saves the day, but gives you that permission slip, if you will, to really kind of go, okay, right, I need to de clutter my life i need to really strip myself bare figure out what is really really important for me and i can only do that by being true to myself by looking deep within to my heart space and once you do that and once you release these burdens and these attachments you are flying full throttle ahead so a really lovely september for you virgo um i hope that this resonated if it did great uh please like subscribe and share comment i love to read the comments and um i wish you a wonderful september and i'll see you next time take care bye